Hello fellow hammock campers, this is Nikki AK Nickfish03 and today I'm going to show you how to sew your own sleeping bag liners. I've found that um, it's not that enjoyable to clean your sleeping bag, especially if you're sleeping it every night, which is a lot easier than sleeping in a blanket in a hammock. Um, so before I go off to college, I'm making some liners that I can just throw in the washing machine. So, show you how to make them, show you how to set up your sewing machine, and here we go. So, you don't need to get any um, fabric. Just grab a uh, old bed sheet. There's some holes in this one. It was five, six years old. And um, lay it out. Uh, just I have little clips right there on all the edges and this is the open side right here so I've got two right there to show you and myself where to stop when I'm sewing and why I have two right there is so I can um, open it up if I have my sleeping bag halfway up down or all the way down I can also have this one uh, open halfway down there's um REI I forget what brand it was but they had liners that had um velcro right here and also at the top so then you could just clip that um down if it's cold but it's not that big a deal just leave the top open a lot more comfortable when it's hot so we're just going to sew the seam down here and up to those double ones right there not not a big deal um, I'm just going to sew straight across I'm not going to do anything fancy if you want you can turn it inside out so it looks better um, but it's going to be in a sleeping bag so it doesn't really matter actually be better to have the, the seam facing out and here's the sewing machine so we have to change the thread for the bobbin and the sewing machine right now. Um, I have some blue thread right in for my uh, my other two liners that were blue. So um, just gotta take the bobbin out, unravel it, then up here is the spool. Got the spool right here. Just take up all the thread. We have the new one right here. And got the spool holder. Want it tight enough so it doesn't wiggle around, but it needs to be able to spin freely. new edge there, make it easier. And that goes in this clip right here. And then we have another little slot right there. And it will go down under under here, and you want to go up, and there's a little slot right here. Just go in there, then back down. Just go inside. Of course, you should definitely be reading your own directions, but this is a nice visual. My direction book's really old, so it took a little while to get it. You gotta that's easier okay so you go on the right on that one for me and another little slot here okay and through the needle make sure you raise the needle
and under the feet. And since we're going to wind a new bobbin, you wrap it up here so you can wind it. Now we're going to wind the bobbin. Make sure that the settings are on middle and straight line so and I have uh, a stitch done at 12 you don't need to do that right now but um, that's the stitch length and tensions up here I leave that on 5 so you just take your uh, your bobbin put it in uh, you take the um, sewing lever, you click it over once, that is for sewing, click it over again, that is for winding. And we've got footwheel down here. I've got it on um, the low setting right now, so if I press down as hard as I can compared to the fast setting, it won't go as fast. And we wind it. Okay, that was plenty. And just gotta pull it out. Cut it off. So, there's um, a little black line. You can kind of see it right now. Right here. That makes that circle. You don't want to go. You don't want to wind it past there, um, but if you're just sewing one liner, you don't need a line. You don't need to um, wind up that much either. So you can just trim it off there, and this will have most likely broken. That was attached to the clip wheel, whatever it is. And now you have to get the thread out. Raise the needle, that would help. Okay, and we're almost ready to sew. Now we just have to get this thread up under the feet. So there's a slot right here, and to pull the thread over to number two over here. So we do that. There we go. Okay. Then you don't you don't have to hold this. Take the thread out. And then in case you guys don't know, this wheel over here that turns the um the needle manually, of course. So you bring the bring the needle down. Don't want to have tension on the thread yet. And then it will catch the bobbin thread. And start pulling it around. This is where you want to start pulling. Have tension on the the needle thread. And you pull it up. Let's see. There we go. So it might form a little loop. You can just grab the loop, and there's the bobbin thread. It is now ready to sew. So I got the bobbin thread here, the old thread here. Both of them come up in this little hole down here. Then you have to make sure your lever is on the sew position and close everything up. So let me go get my liner.